Frankly, this is a rose, but there is one thing I have to say. There is one sweet thing about Lois, and that's her mother, Dorothy. <laughs> the Florida Department of Transportation had the streets downtown all torn up and under construction. They explained that they were about to close parallel sections of Olive and Dixie. What happened next was classic Lois. How can you do that? That is so stupid. <laughs> you will kill the downtown. I won't let it happen. I will send out the police to arrest your men. <laughs> I will lie down in front of the bulldozer. <laughs> Later that day, Al Zaccaro called and volunteered to drive the bulldozer. <laughs> jump out of the plane, skydiving, you just saw it, and that was the lowest in a nutshell. Daring, risk-taking, exhilarating activity, colorful vocabulary. <laughs> and I am told that it got Alan West's attention and admiration to such an extent that for her next jump, he's volunteered to pack her shoe. <laughs> Lois at an opening that, that you've had for your businesses. Lois goes to every opening. You open an envelope, Lois will be there. <laughs> what I would like to present to you today is a top ten list of, of jobs that Lois might consider now that she's not mayor. She could become a bartender at the Wine Mug. Her son owns this wine bar. She could be there as the bartender giving out advice, and just like everywhere else, nobody will listen. <laughs> Um, then I thought, well, since she dances and she knows how to do that, and then she's somewhat of a celebrity, she could become a contestant on Donald Trump's Celebrity Apprentice. <laughs> the only problem with that is that first she'd have to prove to Donald that she was born in the United States. <laughs> the number one thing I think Lola should become is a professional artist. How many of you have seen her artwork in City Hall?
Moyo lives in Buffalo, and that's way out of the way. <laughs> it's been an honor serving you. I've been roasted, but I'm not done yet. Thank <laughs> you.